वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद यू वंस अगेन विद अदर वीडियो ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लाइट सिमुलेटर इन दिस वीडियो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू परफॉर्म अ होल्ड विद द फिनिक्स ए बस ए थ्री ट्वेंटी इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल प्रोसीजर टू डू एंड ऑब्वियसली इफ यू आर फ्लाइंग द फिनिक्स ए बस ए थ्री ट्वेंटी आई अज्यूम दैट यू हैव सर्टन लेवल ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज विद ए बस बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टू परचेज दिस प्लेन एंड समबरी इज रियली परचेजिंग दिस प्लेन आई थिंक दे हैव एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ फ्लाइंग अ लिटिल बिट otherwise this video is uh, for the beginners who uh, do not know how to perform a hold hold uh, is a actually a procedure which is performed in case um, uh, there is a traffic at the runway at which you are going to land or there is some bad weather or any other issue and especially if you are playing the microsoft flight simulator in case of vatsim if the atc ask you to hold your position you have to hold at a certain way point it's a very simple and easy procedure uh, and in this video i will just take you step by step um, how to do it right now i'm flying from uh, lahore to isabad it's a short flight of 40 to 50 minutes and uh, right now i'm uh, in the climb phase going towards uh, 25000 feet and uh, you can see that everything is good so far for the performance um i have entered all the inf information at the arrival airport qnh is given temperature um the wind and all the required information is given now the scenario that i'm going to draw right now in this video is this that you know you have to perform a hold because uh, you started your uh, descent late the best thing about phoenix airbus a320 is this that you know you can see uh, the top of descent which is here so i am not going to start the descent over here maybe at indic i will start the descent and once i am near the airport i will be at a higher altitude due to which i have to perform a hold let's refer to the airport charts uh, for this i am using a navy graph and you can see that um, if i just go back because i just opened it before uh, you have to sync the route and then go to isabad and uh, for the arrival you have to check the arrival and you can see that th this is an arrival procedure uh, for this uh, point indic if i click this and you must be assuming how i have found it it's actually from the flight plan from the sim brief if i just go here you will see that uh, this plane will be flying towards indic and indi 1a is given which is a star standard terminal arrival Uh, so, if you are coming uh, towards Isamba the airport uh, from Indic, this is the procedure for the arrival, and you can see that uh, there is a holding pattern given over Isdur. Isdur is a point, and this point exists in the flight plan, which is after Punop. So, after Punop, there is this uh, waypoint. As you can see, the Indic is given over here. So I'm going to perform a hold as I told you before I will uh, start my descent late and uh, due to this I will try to go into a holding pattern and then I will um, um, uh, what you can say descend to the given altitude the constraints are on and you can uh, see the constraints once we are near the runway uh, we can see all the constraints so that is the basic and uh, just to uh, tell you one thing If you don't have a Navy Graph subscription and you want the airport charts, uh, you can search them over the Google. I have just recently started using uh, Navy Graph, but before this, I was uh, downloading those charts from Google. So I used to search by the ICAO uh, code. Um, in case of Istanbul International Airport, it's OPIS space type uh, airport charts. Press Enter, and Google should give you the results for the Jeppesen charts, which are. only for the flight simulation purpose and not for the real life you can download them if you can find them over the internet it's good otherwise uh, in order to refer to the uh, charts uh, you have to have a navy graph a subscription if you cannot find the airport charts but it's good to have this uh, subscription if you really interested in uh, flight simulation because you know you have to read the charts to make the flight plans and everything and and i find it interesting to to refer to them Okay so right now uh, the plane is crossing 20000 feet and soon i will be at the the top of climb and then i will start it late 
and we will see what will happen. So this is the point, Isrur, which is the part of the star. As you can see, all the procedures under standard terminal arrival are indicated with ND1A. So because I selected, I'll show you over here in arrivals, when you select uh, 28 left and you select uh, the star, so all these points are updated. So index, Punop and Isrur. So this is the point. Uh, or the waypoint where I will be performing a hold. If I press this, this uh, soft key adjacent to ISDO, you will see this hold. So once I am there and uh, I will activate this procedure and I will take you from there and how to do that. So right now I have crossed the top of descent and um, you can see it's uh, not appearing over here on the navigation display and I'm moving towards index. The plane is still at uh, 25,000 feet. Initially, I was climbing in um, at uh, in, the, in the manage mode, uh, but right now I've changed it to the selected mode as I've selected the vertical speed. I just click this button and the vertical speed comes up and uh, then the altitude is set to 25,000 feet. So now the plane will keep on going at uh, 25,000 feet and after index, I will start the descent. And for the descent, I will use uh, the target altitude to be 3,700 because this is the waypoint just before uh, the the runway, this is the final descent point and you have to be at uh, 3700 feet at this point. So I will select 3700 uh, feet as the descent uh, target altitude and uh, from there uh, we will see how it's done. You can see now all the constraints are coming up over here, the deacceleration points are also coming. So let's uh, reduce the range because if I'll start my uh, descent at index, obviously I will be at a slightly higher altitude. So I will perform a hold, reduce the altitude and then I will proceed towards the runway. You can see the vertical deviation is also coming over here, this green dot which shows you that you are higher than the descent profile. So it means uh, I am coming um, at a very higher altitude. As you can see this vertical deviation is there and plus if you go to the progress you can also see it over here. Right now it is not coming, maybe once I will start the descent it will start coming over here. Now I am going to cross index so that is why I will select 3700. And I will again select the managed mode and then you can see the vertical deviation 6225 or 241 feet above uh, the given descent profile. So it means I am at a higher altitude. So once I am near Isdur or rather here after Puno, I will perform the hold. Now if you look at the holding pattern. The entrance um, um, for the holding pattern is from this direction if you uh, heading is uh, 350 degrees and then once you cross this point you have to turn left and then you will perform a hold. The maximum speed will be 220 knots. As the speed is in the manage mode that's why the autopilot will automatically reduce the speed in order to perform the hold. So it will be all automatically done. Right now if I go to the flight plan and if I select is door and uh, let's uh, select hold you can see the turn is uh, coming as right i can change the turn computed is uh, right no i'll change it to left yes now revert to the computer it's uh, if you revert to the computer it will, it will be again r and uh, I can change it to left. If I select L, I can use the left. Right now for this video, I don't want any issues to happen. That's why I'm going with the computed one. But uh, now you can see 
that you can change it um, um, the direction whether it should be the left turn or the right turn as per the airport charts it's a left turn but right now the computed one is um, um, the right one if I erase this more drag obviously as uh, there was a late start for the descent that's why this error is coming so you can just ignore this okay so now the basics are there and uh, hopefully it's clear for you so if I select ISRO and if I select hold and let's go with the right turn because uh, I have got very short time tomorrow I have an office <laughs> so that's why I will uh, just try to uh, try to do this video because then I have to edit it and plus uh, upload on the YouTube channel but you can use uh, change it to left and right as per your convenience and as per the airport charts uh, so computed I've selected this because you have to select this computer whatever has been computed by the FMS the flight management system you have to go with it and uh, temporary insert now over here you will see that at ISDO you it's coming hold R it means right and ISDO there is a hold and uh, this information is now there let's look at the navigation display you can see this that the holding pattern is coming so if I um, look at the constraints at ISDO I should be above 6000 feet plus but obviously it's better to be at 6000 feet if you're at 10,000 feet you cannot um, descend and land at this uh, runway uh, or you have to increase the vertical speed which will make it difficult to manage the speed as you can see the vertical deviation is really high we are way much uh, higher than the uh, the given descent profile as I've shown you before in the progress so 6100 feet above or 6088 feet above the descent profile so by this point I should be at uh, 6000 maybe maximum 7000 not more than that so this is the scenario that I'm uh, using for this video um, but maybe if you are flying a Microsoft flight simulator you can use it for other scenarios but it's a good one if you're not using VATSIM and uh, you're coming at a very higher altitude you can do this procedure reduce the altitude and then you can land or if the visibility is not good then you can do this I remember once I was traveling to Istanbul and uh, it was uh, raining in Islamabad and after um, calling it a missed approach uh, the plane just uh, went into a holding pattern I think for like 30 minutes and there were three or four circles which uh, the plane took um, in the holding pattern and then afterwards when the weather was clear the plane came and landed it happens in case of uh, fog rain traffic or any other reason So now as the plane is going into this uh, holding pattern, that's why the speed is reducing. Uh, you can see uh, the speed will be 220 knots. This is the green dot speed, which means that this is an optimum speed uh, with the clean configuration without any flaps or without any slats. The plane can uh, fly uh, the best uh, lift to drag ratio. Below this, the plane might stall. So that's why uh, the plane will be at uh, 220 knots or at the green dot speed not less than that and obviously this is also given in the airport charts and uh, plus the flight plan over here in order to exit from this uh, holding pattern we can uh, select this option immediate exit and then okay so we can select this immediate exit option and uh, the plane will then go out of the holding pattern so right now you can see that the right turn has been initiated by the autopilot I can exit this holding pattern once the vertical deviation is over here in the middle which means we are as per the descent profile now as the plane was uh, below um, the transition altitude that's why I had to change the QNH settings from standard to the given one and uh, at Islamabad International Airport it's uh, I think it's 1000 if I'm not wrong 1002 so let's adjust it 
1000 was in Lahore so it's now adjusted the altimeter just uh, roughly 4000 feet to go or 4300 um, feet to go and then I will exit this uh, holding pattern and then I will move towards the runway because then the altitude will be at an acceptable level so now um, the speed as you can see is in it's in the managed mode and the all descent is also in the managed mode that's why autopilot is calculating everything on its own very good feature in the Airbus in the Boeing it's uh, VNAV <laughs> just just like just vanished out of my mind it happens so it's VNAV and the LNAV LNAV is uh, longitudinal uh, navigation and VNAV is vertical navigation vertical navigation manages the descent and the climb and trust the cruise and uh, longitudinal navigation <laughs> a bit, bit of a tongue twister is for the uh, flight uh, path following As you can now see that the vertical deviation is good. It's coming up. So I can exit the hole and you can now see that the flight plan has now changed and, uh, and now it will move towards CI2LY. And if I press this button resume hold, it will obviously resume the hold but after crossing ISDO this option will not be available so right now you can see the vertical deviation is uh, good and by this point the plane should be at uh, uh, 6000 or, or more as you can see over here in the PFD it's coming as 7800 the plane is in the descent mode and now the vertical deviation will not uh, cross this limit the upper limit and the lower limit so it will just remain between these two yellow lines uh, so that's it so if you are uh, flying uh, to any airport for the first time and you are not really familiar with it and you have um, altitude issues you can always uh, go into a holding pattern at uh, any uh, waypoint uh, given as per the airport charts and then you can perform a hold and uh, then you can reduce your altitude otherwise if you're using VATSIM you get any uh, instructions from the ATC then you have to perform hold I hope this video was really useful for you and uh, now you will be able to perform the hold if you've got any questions the comment section is there for you you can type in your question I try to answer all your questions in, in, in time but um, as you as I've been telling you before that you know my days are a bit busy so if there is a delay kindly accept my apologies for that for any compliments, for any feedback, the comment section is there. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hope to see you soon.